What's up, pretty gang? It's your favorite nail tech, Peaches, back with another video. And today I have a little bit of a different format. We are actually gonna be focusing in on what it's like for me to do multiple services on one client. Sometimes you be there all day up to eight hours. So I wanna show you guys how do I keep my speed and my timing on track during those type of services. So of course, links in the description, Amazon storefront, follow me on Instagram. I'm in Sacramento, California for those who wanna book. And of course, subscribe with notifications on cause you don't wanna miss nothing, all right? So first things first, this is her starting point. She has acrylic from somewhere else already on the big toes. And she also has a foreign full set on her hands. I believe she said her friend or her cousin did her nails on her hands. So all in all, she is currently booked for a foreign removal of acrylic toes, a foreign full soak off on her hands, as well as a deluxe acrylic pedicure and a non-basic short set. So that would be basically about seven hours of time. This client came in at 9 a.m. and is scheduled to be done at 4.20 p.m. Now this is from the other day. And um, so I just decided to record like this because I don't typically show you guys or talk to you guys about the fact that I do so many services and most people who come to me, they are getting multiple services at once. And it's just me at my suite. So I'm basically doing everything, you know? So when it comes to doing soak offs on the feet as well as the hands, I'm doing them at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the acrylic from the big toe. I'm gonna wrap it up and throw some acetone there. However you do your removals on toes, it is hit and miss basically until you get your correct method that works for you as hands they sit and soak but toenails they, they don't stay wet you know what i'm saying so at this point i'm telling her like okay you can put your shoes on we're gonna actually go over to the table and we're gonna start the soak off on your hands so because in the first like 10 minutes the feet are already dealt with and starting to soak that means this is not going to take two hours for the hands to soak and it's not going to take two hours for the nails now um the reason i have foreign soak offs booked for two hours is because I have seen a lot of crazy shit doing nails and you would be surprised the type of techniques and products and stuff that people use. So I need to give enough time because you have to give a lot of extra time for filing through because some people's work is very chunky and thick. And for the soaking part, some people use MMA or you know a lower quality of EMA, so it takes longer. Now this particular client, I did ask like, hey, do you know, um, did you go to a nail shop or a private person? She said it was her cousin. I could tell the person was maybe more so of a beginner but you know you can see that the nails lasted about three weeks to a month so the retention is is fine but that doesn't mean the product is but upon like filing and stuff i did realize this is not mma it didn't mma tends to smell really sweet when you file it or use it i did not get that particular smell so i was like okay i'm pretty sure this person probably used some sort of mia secret or you know something like that but this is also the time where you start to ask your client questions about their nail health about their habits etc because during this time is where you're going to start to see things be revealed and then after the soak up you'll be able to further let them know like hey i saw this going on or hey this is the outcome this is the end result whatever so that also saves me time with having those conversations as i'm working so we don't have to wait for all the product to be off to let them know i see something a little suspicious you see what i'm saying so we're gonna actually go ahead and start with the second part of the soak off which is the hands like i said we already got the feet um in the process of being removed well no the toes the toenails let me <laughs> the feet are not being removed none of the toenails are um acrylic toes so she's gonna go ahead and sit her hands in there and at this point i'm like okay this soak off is not going to take two hours i can tell by how the product filed down so we're soaking both at once like i said that take that removes a lot of the bulk of the appointment so we're soak offs you're gonna want to keep your hands busy keep doing things around the suite sitting down is fine but like if you know you have stuff to do get that done i take this opportunity to text my next client because in the back of my head i know exactly how much time that i've shaved down that's going to come with experience of knowing exactly what your time is exactly how do you know how long you'll take and all that type of stuff you know what i'm saying so at this point this is a really regular client of mine i already know like hey she's probably going to come earlier and pretty much that's exactly what happened so um as i'm doing the, the cleaning up and stuff like that like i said we are uh, not only talking and getting to know each other but like on top of that 
she's getting her services done you know like she's just sitting there soaking off so i'm making the best of my time like i said so when people agree to come early i always make sure to go ahead and physically change the appointment on my end it's about 10 in the morning so this is plenty of time to notify somebody to come early i use square um, i really like their interface and their app and stuff like that so i change the appointment time in square because I do have it set to notify clients two hours before their appointment and as well as when I redo I mean like when I um adjust stuff to their appointment and I have it save it will send them a text and an email right then and there so they won't forget that they agreed to a new time so as you can see the soak off is going really well you can see this is clearly EMA it's not MMA it's not sticky and gummy it's coming right off which is what you want to see so because of that right the hands are fully soaked off and because the toenails are i don't know where she went she might have went to the shop but because the acrylic toes i know are probably um the quality may not be as good i personally am just going to go ahead and let those big toes finish soaking throughout this process of me doing the nails excuse me sometimes i'll go ahead and remove the toenails at the same time but to be honest you want to limit how much you're moving around while you're doing this because every time you tell your client oh over here over there over here over there it actually adds more time to the appointment so for me now that the hands are soaked off i'm just going to keep it moving and we'll worry about the toenails after so this client ended up getting a um, short pink french tip set with a nude background i'm pretty sure i use nude panther or soft peach as a background color from that polish and i'm just incorporating this part to actually show you guys like all the rest of the steps are the same now if you are able to condense your appointment let's say you do both soak ups at the same time but you're actually uh, a little bit slower when it comes to the nails you may not be able to condense your appointments yet you know um so that pinky i asked her if it hurts because it was like pretty red um but she said no so we went ahead i was telling her like you know be careful because you might have a little bit of thinning over here basically uh, but yeah like i was saying the key to doing multiple services on people is you just have to have the mental capacity to keep going and keep pushing through because sometimes it's not easy spending like five to six hours with just that one person like let's say if someone annoys you or things aren't going how you thought you can get frustrated in the beginning i used to get a little frustrated but once you're like very confident in your work and you've taken so much clients and like it just becomes a lot easier but also remember i did work in a nail shop for well i worked in a couple of different types of shops when i first started doing nails so multitasking wasn't like too hard for me if that makes sense like it really taught me how to do that so if you're not a multitasker this might actually make it more difficult for you to condense those long appointment times if you know what i mean but um i do have a video on my channel about how to uh, improve your speed and get quicker at doing nails so i'll link that somewhere in here um for those of you who do need that like extra help this video i could say is a little bit more intermediate because realistically we're just kind of focusing on how to con how to combine multiple services at once so that way we can keep the appointment moving okay boom so this is pretty much the final result of the nails they were really really nice um you know you guys know me a nude background for french is like not my favorite favorite but i feel like these still came out really nice and then after the nails i went ahead and moved fully over to the feet so pretty much at this point because we've already sat for about an hour for the actual soak off and then she sat through getting her nails done so at this point i know for a fact the acrylic on the big toes will be able to be removed no problem you do have to like re-wet them though because if you're using like cotton or anything on toenails it cotton absorbs everything i really like these nail wraps uh i get them from my nail supply store so i don't like i don't have any websites or nothing for you guys but these don't necessarily absorb all of the acetone but after a while you can see that it kind of will so you can see it's been so long that the acrylic it's kind of like dry but also like not this looks like i'm being really harsh on her but i'm not because the like the acetone is like soaked into the acrylic so now it's kind of like it's just basically peeling off all at one time but you can see oh lord okay <laughs> you guys this is like the 10th time i've done this voiceover so 
if the phone rings the phone rings i ain't doing it again but you can see that it's pretty much peeling off because all of it is like soaked through pretty well um so this is not causing her any pain or anything i know it does look rough and so at this point after that we're pretty much ready to move on to our pedicure and because now this is the last service by itself which is the acrylic deluxe pedicure now i'm taking any free time like while she's soaking and stuff like that and i am using that to get prepared and get ready because there's no anytime there's free time we don't want to just be sitting watching the client necessarily we want to at least get other stuff done so that way um we can make the best use of our time you know what i'm saying so at this point she's soaking so this is where i'm opening everything up i'm getting ready to do other things um I'm going to start resetting my space soon. And if you don't know what to reset your desk and stuff, it basically means you're cleaning up everything so that way you're ready for the next client. Because I told the next client, hey, come at two o'clock. That means now with the feet, I'm at the point where, okay, we might have to hustle a little bit if other things took a little bit longer, you know, because things can things can come up while you're actually doing them. So you guys can see I'm resetting my space because... I don't like to do it at, after the client just simply because if the next one comes in, I want them to be able to have somewhere to sit. Okay, we do have a lobby area, but like if it's real, like literally their appointment time, I want them to be able to come in and be able to sit. So basically what this is all about is a simple fact of any free time you have during long appointments, you want to make sure that it's going towards something, you know? So this is not the final result of the toes like per se, but this is basically the base. And at this point, I'm done. Like we managed to get a seven hour appointment done in about ooh, nine, 10, 11, 12 months. In about like four and a half hours or so. Um, yeah, four to four and a half hours because I still had some free time between her and the next client. So now I'm basically cleaning up my pedicure area and then I'm going to be ready to move on. I hope this video helped anybody wondering how do I sit here all day and take multiple people and all those people have different services, etc, etc. It's really just it's really just time management. Um, like I said, the real key is if there are uh, soak offs that need to be done, either do them together at the same time rather than doing one and waiting for that to be done and moving on to the next soak off or you know if you have to soak off the toes do that at the same time as you're doing nails you really just want to learn how to work um, smart that's really what it's all about combine everything so that way you can get done earlier than what you're telling people and you can bring people in earlier so you can go home so um, I'm also now thinking about doing a video on square because i do use it for payments as well as booking apps people always ask me um like what should they use honestly i can't tell you what to use i really like square and how it's set up um you guys saw a little tidbit of like what the interface and stuff looks like so i may actually do a whole video dedicated to using square and if you should use a booking app etc etc booking through dm so let me know if that's something you guys want to see and of course we don't have a final result at the end but we do have me here saying goodbye and i'll see you in the next one